Uh, as an asset class in general, residential investment property is fundamentally unique for a number of reasons. The first thing that stands out, especially if, if I, and I know the listeners of your show are comparing different asset classes and different types of assets. And so when you talk about residential investment property, the first thing is that this is a multi-dimensional asset class, okay? There are five simultaneous profit centers that come with this asset, okay? So what I mean by that is normally, if you were just to buy a traditional, say, stock or a mutual fund that doesn't pay dividends, right? One possibility of making money, and that is if it goes up in value, right? So it's purely speculative and it's unit dimensional. If it goes up, you make money. If it goes down, you lose money. Very simple. And for that matter, though, if it goes up, number one, it has to go up at a higher rate than inflation. And number two, in order for you to make, make money in real dollars, and number two, it has to go up beyond the rate of inflation enough so that your capital gain after you pay your taxes on it and then adjust for inflation is still going to be profitable. So it's not just that your stock has to go up. It has to beat the rate of inflation. It has to beat the tax rate. And then you'll make money in real dollars.